It's a crew review of the new Baratza Sete. Here it is. What does Sete mean? Seven in Italian. Hi, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear. And we are here to do a crew review on this machine. This is the latest version from, of a grinder from Baratza. It's a great grinder. I got the chance to play around with it. Kyle came over the other day. He gave me a little tutorial on it. We have a video. Check that out. But now I'm going to do my crew review like I usually do. What is the advantage of this machine? Well, I, there are so many, I don't know where to start. Programmable buttons right up here. You can program these for time. This is the 270, Sete 270. There's going to be a Sete 270W, which is a weight-based. It will weigh your coffee. This one is based on time. So three programmable buttons. Manual button here that if I was to push it and hold it and then stop, I get what I want and then it stops. I can also change, if right now this is the, what I'm going to do for a uh, portafilter, I can change that on the fly. Now if I was to push start, it'll give me the 4.2 instead of the 4.5 it's programmed for. Really nice, really like it a lot. So let's look at the uh, burrs and the, the adjustment ring. This is a macro adjustment ring here, 1 to 31. You have that whole range, 1 to 31. Now I'm on number 13, 14. No, I'm actually on 12. Now I can change the micro adjustment down here and fine tune it in. Nine more settings. So that's nice too. Like that a lot. Up here you have the bean hopper that holds about a half a pound of beans. And it actually has a lever to open and close. Let me take that out and I'll show you. Just has a little valve that goes around, little door, which is, that's nice. You know, you're taking that out and when you get done, there's about five to six grams of uh, beans left down in there. That's not a lot compared to other machines. I'm going to take the burrs out because I, this is very interesting as well. You take the coarse, or the, uh, the, the coarseness setting up here and you just rotate the whole thing around. And it's a conical burr, steel burr. One half stays in the machine, the other half comes out. Look down in there, you'll see daylight. You can see that there is no ground coffee, negligible amount left in there to go stale on you. That's one big plus. Practically everything that gets ground ends up in the vessel, regardless of what your vessel is. And if you look down in here, that's the other burr right there. That burr is the one that rotates versus on most machines, this is the burr that rotates. Makes it faster and much more efficient. They mounted the motor instead of vertical up and down, which takes up a lot of casing space. They made it horizontal. Worm drive gears up in here that, that transfer it from horizontal to vertical. Transfer case. So what does that mean to you? Why, does that, why is that important to get that, all the space freed up? Well, what it does is it allows you to put different kinds of brewing equipment or vessels to collect that ground coffee down here. Very important. Right now, the way it's set, I could ground this, grind as much as I want down in here, use it for my Chemex, take it and scoop it out, take it for whatever I want. That's a nice feature. Let's say I don't want to use that. I can also use this. I can put the V60 right under there, my Kalita, whatever pour over method I have that'll fit there, just put it right in there. Okay, so I don't want to do it that way. I want to use my portafilter. These two arms, they convert. Watch this. You just push these in, rotate them down, pull them back out again to lock, swing this around, which catches the top of your portafilter. Put the portafilter in it. Now you're ready to grind down into your portafilter. What's not to like about that? And I'm going to put this back together, and but you are going to see just how fast this grinds. This, whoops, it helps to put the burr up, not down. It's a huge. Just saying. Just saying. There's two tabs on here. This one has a blue marking on it. Corresponds with the blue arrow over here. You just line it up. Don't take it up too high. I did that mistake in the beginning, up too high, and you won't be able to, you know, don't push it up too much. 
Now I'm going to take it down to a finer setting to show you what it's going to do for espresso. Put this back on. Open it up. Sometimes I forget to open that. So, eh, I was going to say half to three quarters of a pound there. That's nice. We got the Tangle Town going on. These are the different grinds that we did just to show you before I show you how fast it is. This is the finest, one of the finest right down there. I could go just a little bit finer on that. This was the medium. And what I noticed about this was very consistent. And that's the course. You don't usually see that much consistency in the course. You're not going to do French press with this. This is designed for non-pressurized pour to filters, drip, pour over, uh, up in the setting, probably your Chemex. So the good news is, watch this. This is going to fill. The, where's the thing? Oh, you got to flip this over. Watch this. Look how fast that did that. Four and a half seconds filled the uh, 18 grams. <laughs> Fastest thing going. Now, another feature. Let me show you this. I'm gonna <laughs> pause it, shake it out, finish it. It picks up where you left off, where you paused it. So, I can't tell you how much I like this machine. I think this is going to be great for the price point that it's going to be offered at. Fantastic machine. Fast, good looks, gets most of the coffee out, comes down into your porta filter. No more, not as much stale coffee. There's always going to be a little bit, but not nearly as much. Holds half to three quarters of a pound of coffee, programmable buttons, manual, and change it on the fly. And micro adjustment and macro and micro. Those two guys, micro, macro, micro. Yeah, and then this. All of these things make for a really great grinder. So check it out. Uh, as a time of, at the time of this crew review, it isn't quite available. But hey, we wanted to get it out to you so that you can look at this and anticipate it sitting on your countertop. Like it's going to sit on mine, maybe. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and stay tuned because we're going to be pulling up and showing you when it's available the 270W weight based. Thanks a lot. Okay.